Hi everyone, I'm doing this video in order to help people who would like to experiment uh, with uh, resonance and uh, those that have maybe questions about how you fine tune and get the, the uh, coil to uh, the resonant point. And what I've done is I've attached my oscilloscope here, uh, both probes to it. One probe is attached to the input of my signal generator, which is right here, and here's the ground. And the other probe is attached to the uh, input to either to the coil side, okay, after the capacitor that's in series. And that's giving you truly uh, what the waveform will look like inside the coil. And uh, the input here is in series, the input from the signal generator. I put it in series here with this bulb to show you that truly there is no amperage that's going through uh, it when it's in resonance. Um, it's it, it, that bulb with light, you know, and if you look at that filament, it's a tiny, tiny little bulb. That's my finger, and that's what the bulb looks like. Uh, you can see the filament, but you know it's really not, not even glowing. And uh, this is a small little capacitor that's um, about sixty picofarad. This one is. And I've attached a uh, neon bulb as well onto the this side of the uh, capacitor, which is the side of the coil. If I would attach this neon bulb onto the other side here, there is actually no energy on that side. Everything has to be on this side here. Now the neon bulb, the idea behind this is to uh, use that as a guide as well to uh, finding your resonant point. So if you don't have an oscilloscope, you can just use a neon bulb. And as soon as that bulb lights up to the maximum brightness, you're at resonance at that point. Now that bulb is only uh, one leg of that bulb, uh, neon bulb, is hooked up onto the side of the coil, like I said. And this other alligator clip that's on the other leg, I'm just using it as an antenna. So it's not hooked up to anything. It's just picking up the radiating energy and uh, completing the circuit. All right, um, so I'll show you quickly, I'll just tune my uh, signal generator and show you this what happens. See, I just turned it just a nat tab there and the bulb's out, right? And back up and then the other way around, it's gone too. So there you go. That's, that's a good guide for using, uh, for tuning you know, finding the, the, the tweak uh, at the resonating point. Now I'll show you my uh, wave, what the waveform looks like. So the coil's in, uh, in uh, resonance at this point, and this is what the waveform looks like here on my uh, signal, uh, on my uh, oscilloscope. So the green here, or this line here, this square is what the input of the signal generator is uh, looking like. That's what the form looks like. And this other form here that has these uh, beautiful waves, that's actually when the coil is reached resonance. It turns, it takes those square waves and turns them into basically sine wave. All right. So I can actually uh, I can change my signal generator. That's that's what it would look like with a triangle wave uh, going uh, in the uh, as input, and that's what it would look like with a sine wave. So I'm sending in sine wave, and the coil's obviously outputting sine wave. But it doesn't matter what wave you send into it; it's going to turn back to sine wave. From my uh, experience now. Uh, once it reaches resonance, and there's the uh, square wave once again. So uh, that's kind of interesting, and that's an important point I find uh, for people to know that uh, this is what's going to happen uh, once you reach resonance. Now, if we look at the uh, data, um, the first line on top there is the frequency. And obviously, uh, this coil is resonating at 771 kHz. 
and the peak-to-peak uh, -peak, uh, from the signal generator is 18 volts and uh, I don't have it full up at maximum uh, because I would actually go over scale here and I don't want to blow uh, my oscilloscope. So the real true voltage that I'm sending in here is 6.56 volts RMS from the signal generator. I can go higher like I said but I, I don't want to go I don't want to go too high. Uh, and with that 6.56 volts RMS where the coil is producing in resonance 112 volts RMS. All right? So and its peak to peak is 320 Three or 320 volts uh, peak to peak. So it's, it's a substantial increase as soon as it reaches resonance. And I'll show you when I tune out what happens to the wave. All right, it's gone. And if we look at the data, all right, what's going in is pretty well what's coming out. or you know what's at the coil basically All right? and if we tune back see how dynamic it is it just climbs right up back very quickly and back down so that's that's what's happening there once you reach resonance and you just tune it so that it's basically the peak you'll see a little little uh, bump here in the center which is this spike here that you just center it so that it's not this side or that side it's just neatly centered and you have uh, perfect uh, tuning at that point right there but like I say the uh, neon bulb is very good too because as you see right now it's very bright and as soon as it gets I'll just put it out of resonance where the bulb extinguishes and you see the waveform is still there, all right? But that neon bulb isn't lit at all. So, and as, and as soon as, I'll bring it up a little bit there, and as soon as I, it starts climbing, the bulb starts to light, and as soon as I get the bulb up maximum, all right, we're pretty close to being maximum at the form there. But using the scope gives you the perfect uh, accuracy to get that little, bump tuned in there. Anyways, uh, this is uh, what I just like to share and this might help to answer a lot of questions uh, that people may have. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye now.